Hello there and welcome to the mobile academy and if you want to become a job ready Flutter developer make sure to check out the courses on my website mobileacademy.io here you will find all of the courses related to the Flutter development you will find the professional course as well as the basic course related to the Flutter you can also find some of the uh, free courses over here if you want to just go and try it out or if you are just a beginner on the Flutter and then the React Native you can also find the free course over here and if you would like to be a full stack developer we also have the course related to the full stack developer related to the uh, node.js express mongodb as well as the flutter over here and if you would like to join the uh, flutter bootcamp there is also a bootcamp course over here so make sure to go and check out the course over here there are free and then they paid codes and if you want to be a job ready flutter developer this is the course that you would want to take so see you guys on the next lesson till then have a great day yeah hello there and welcome back and let us continue with our lesson over here and in this particular lesson we are going to learn about the uh, notifier provider with a notifier class and in the previous lesson we learned about the state provider and after the flutter 2.0 there was a couple of changes and the new api or the new provider were introduced and one of those is the uh, notifier provider or with the notifier class and today we are going to learn and actually i had given you a homework in the previous lesson to go and uh, read the documentation about the state provider and i hope you have done it and if you have uh, read the doc or if you have read the documentation you will know that the state provider is not a recommended way to maintain your state um, anymore right because it's going to de deprecate in uh, the future version of the river pod so uh, the document recommend us to migrate it to a notifier or the async notifier so let us go and get started and let us learn about the um, the notifier or the notifier provider and today we are going to learn about that one so enough talking let's go and get started over here first we'll go to our screen over here and what i will do is i'll just go and add the one more button over here so let's just uh, let me just copy this one over here and let's go and also add the reset button over here so okay let's add the restore and that should be fine and let's call this one as the uh, reset over here and uh, what i will do is i'll just go and comment out this one for now and also i'll comment out uh, this one as well and let's go on to the top now i'll comment out this one as well so once we have that we currently don't have the counter and uh, now i will go to my provider and i'll create the new class over here and let's call this one as the counter and that will be of the notify notifier and the counter notifier provider so p-r-o-v-i-d provider dot the dot and once we have that let's just go and create the um the class over here and that will be of the counter notifier so counter and o-t-i-f-i uh sorry f-i-e-r notifier that is going to extend the um notifier so n-o-t-i-f-i notifier from the the flutter river part over here and it takes the generic type which will be of the state and currently we don't have any complex state we just require uh int or the number over here we just have a single state over here that will be of the int over here so we'll just pass in the generic type as the int as the current state over here and we need to go and override the uh, build method over here so let's just go and override the build method and that is going to return us the default state which will be of the uh, counter value will be of the zero and once we have that what we can do is we can go and create the method over here so i'll just go and create the method of the increment and i'll just go and increment this state plus plus over here let's just go and add the one more method that will be of the decrement and we are going to decrement our current state right and also we'll add the one more uh, method that is to reset so let's just go and reset our um, the state default to zero over here so this state is actually coming from this particular once we extend this particular notifier so if you go and to this one we have the option so you can see there is a build method 
and uh, if you go and read this particular documentation and you can just go and read the documentation over here so uh, as i mentioned previously um, the reading the documentation will help you to understand more and uh, so let's go back over here so once we have this particular over here we got access to this state so state is currently what we have over here the default or uh, the state for us is the integer value so now this is the integer value that we have currently so we want to increment that and we want to decrement that and also we want to uh, reset that one and once we have this particular okay so let's just remove that and once we have this particular class what we need to do is we need to create the uh, pro provider itself so let's just go and create the counter provider over here and this is not the counter provider not the state provider it should be of the notifier provider over here so let's just go and say the uh, notifier provider itself and then we need to provide the the notifier class that we have and then the state so currently we don't have any complex state we just have a single um, the counter variable over here so we'll just go and add the int over here and change notifier.new this is going to cre create the new instance of this particular counter notifier for us so we can access this particular state and also this particular the uh, methods over here so now if you take a look over here this is going to provide us the uh, notifier provider implementation the generic type it's going to take is the counter at counter notifier which is extending the notifier class right and then the state itself so once we have this now what we can do is actually we can go back to our counter screen now and i will go and create the counter variable over here which will be of equals to ref dot the watch again over here and here we are going to watch our new provider that we just created that is the counter notifier provider and this is what we have created over here right so this is what we have created and now we are going to use it or we are going to watch it over here so whenever the state for this particular provider changes then these uh, widget will be rebuilt over here and similarly what we have to do is we have to go and do the same thing over here so let me just comment out this one is the old one and now i need to go and say the ref dot the uh not the sorry ref dot the read ref dot the read over here sorry not the read so ref dot the read over here again and our provider will be of the uh, counter notifier provider that we have and then we need to access the notifier from here in order to access that particular other uh, method that we have if you don't get access or if you don't um, provide the notifier then you can't call that particular function or the method over here so let's just copy this one as well and uh, let's just go down over here we just need to provide it over there and also we need to provide it over here so now we have provided that one as well over here so now you can see that uh, this should be of the uh, decrement over here not the that it should be of the decrement over here and this will be of the uh, reset over here so now once we got access to the method now you can see that once we want to watch the value and once we want to rebuild our uh, widget we need to use the ref dot the watch and access that particular provider so we need to watch that particular provider but if we want to trigger some event like let's say a button click event then what we need to do is we need to access the provider with the notifier and with the help this uh, with the help of this particular notifier you can see um obtain the notifier associated with that particular with this provider right so this is the provider without listening to the state change so we are not going to listen to the any changes because we want to just trigger some events so we want to call this particular functionality which is of the increment and then the decrement as well as the reset over here so let's just go and i want to comment out this one and uh, then let's just go and reset uh, restart our application over here and once i have this uh, restarted over here what i will do is let's try to go and increment that is working perfectly fine 
and let's just go and uh, decrement that is also working fine and let's go and reset it that's cool so every functionality that we have defined over here is working perfectly fine although this is a really simple uh, example with the counter application but uh, we will uh, start with the basic right from the scratch and later we will slowly move upward and we will learn some more complex stuff over here so this is the um the simple example using the uh, notifier class over here extending a notifier class and making use of the notifier provider so once you use the notifier provider we have to provide the two generic type one is the uh, the notifier class itself all right and then the another one is the state the current state we don't have any state class we just have uh, um, the int variable the type is of the int so we just need to provide and that's going to create us the or provide us the new instance of our counter notifier or the notifier class over here so i hope you got the point and uh, now you can actually go and migrate your previous state provider to your uh, notifier so it's the recommended way to make use of the notifier instead of our voice state provider so this may be deprecated in the future version of the report so that's all for this particular lesson and uh, we will meet up in the next one where we will learn about the async notifier and I'll give you as a homework to make sure go and read the documentation over here and as well as go to the um, the riverpod.dev that is the official documentation where you can learn much of this stuff about the notifier and the notifier provider. So that's all and let's meet up in the next one till then have a great day.